Hey, welcome to How Encoding. I'm your host, Mohammed Azam. And in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can perform nested collections or nested documents using MongoDB with the use of C Sharp driver. So I have a little bit of code written because we're going to start our object from scratch. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new object and say, okay, this is a category, which is a document. And category, I can say the title of the category is, I don't know, soft drinks. All right. Now the category will also have products this time. So it's not going to be independent. It will have products as child products. So if you're thinking about a relational database point of view, the category will be a different table and the products will be a different table. If you want to search for a category named title, then you're going to, of course, do a join on the products table, and then you'll get the value back of both the category and the product. So let's see how we can do the same thing using the MongoDB document database. And I'm using, of course, C Sharp driver for that. So now let's create a pro uh, create a wow, what is going on? Uh, product. So I'm just going to say, okay, this is a Coke. All right. And I can say, okay, so we have a Coke and uh, the name is Coke. And let's uh, create another one. I'm just going to say, okay, uh, I don't know, Sprite. Okay, let's, let's call it Pepsi. Pepsi and then uh, the name will be Pepsi. Okay, so now I have two products, I have one category, so I need to add these two products into the category. So how will I do that? So I'm gonna say, okay, category, and there is new key, which is called products, okay? And, or you can simply say category dot append. So it's going to append the products. So I'm gonna say append, the key is products, comma, and uh, this will be a new array, which will have both things. So it will have Coke and it will have Pepsi. Now I'm using, of course, an array, but you can also use kind of like this, like list, and uh, you can create a list. You can add it, uh, like Coke, and you can add uh, Pepsi. Okay. And you don't even have to convert it to an array when you're adding the list. So if I add a list over here, it's going to be okay. Because what it will do is when appending, it will call the to array function. It will get the list as a documents and it will store it as a documents array. Okay, so you can go either way. You can use this way or you can use, you can explicitly specify that this is my document array or this is a array type. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. So the category has been inserted. Now I can say categories.insert because this is a new category. This is not an old category. And I'm going to say, okay, category. I'm going to insert the category. So we have a category, it's called soft drinks. We have Coke as one of the products. We have Pepsi as a second product. Both of those products have been added into a list of document because they are document. So everything you, Everything from MongoDB point of view is a document. If Even if I say, okay, this is my class, this is this, 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 no, no, no. For MongoDB, everything is a document. And then category.append, I'm going to give it a key, which is products, and I'm going to insert the list. So let's go ahead and run this. Nothing happened actually, because we just inserted it. So let's uh, go ahead and retrieve it. I am going to comment out this code, since I need to get the category. Um, let's find the category by, by what, by the name. So the name is soft drinks, I'm passing over here. 
Now, most probably if you are using uh, ASP.NET MVC application or you have some sort of an interface, you will not pass soft tricks, okay? That's like saying that I'm searching by using the last name of the person. And last name of the person can be like thousands and thousands of people have this last name. So they should have some sort of a unique identification, unique identifier. And that was covered in the last screencast if you haven't seen this. So a unique identifier for each document will be created and it will be represented by underscore uh, ID. So each document, whether you have created it yourself or not, will have this underscore ID created by MongoDB. So now we have this category, we will find the category. And if you remember, we added what, two products? So let's see how many products that we added. So I'm just gonna say, okay, products, and I will convert products to a document array. And I can say now count dot to string. Okay, so let's run that. Oops, uh, object reference not set to an instance. Okay, let me, so let's first see that even the category made it or not. So we have category and we have, we're looking for products. Interesting, so we, our, for some reason, our, oh, I'm sorry, this has to be title, yikes, right? So we do have a document array, sorry about that. And now let's go ahead and, go ahead and convert it into a document array. And I am going to go and convert everything to a document array and I'm going to say, okay, give me the count and also give me, change it to two string. So here we go. So we have two documents as nested documents inside the category using the key, which is the products, okay? So basically what you're, you're doing is that you are fetching the aggregate root, which in this case is a category, and along with it, the products are being fetched. And if I go over here and say, uh, I'm not sure if I can, okay, here we go. Uh, name, that will display code. So we are uh, getting out the correct products and the number one should be Pepsi. So you can actually see without any joints, it's not joints that are used in a MongoDB, it's pointers, it's pretty fast. And if you were doing the same thing using a relational database, you will have to write a query, you will have to make a join or else it's not even possible to do it without a join because most probably you will have a categories and products in a different table. I am not slashing relational database. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, that if you have a new application, if you have a greenfield application to develop, uh, you should always think about possibilities. You should always ask, why are we going that route? And as you see, this is pretty simple uh, to, to perform these kind of actions in a MongoDB database. Uh, so you should always think about the different possibilities, like why should I choose a, one particular approach and why should I not choose this particular approach. And uh, hopefully you will make a good decision, okay? So that's pretty much it. So in this uh, screencast, I showed you how you can uh, fetch the, basically the aggregate root and insert, also the insert the nested documents for a particular document. And this nest uh, nesting can go on for, uh, it, it can be a very large tree, nested tree that you can insert. And when you insert the aggregate root, it's going to fetch the whole thing. Couple of seconds, uh, donation, donation, donation for high on coding, everything from the articles, the videos, screencasts, everything is free, available to you on high on coding without any cost. But high on coding is always looking for donations. If you have time, please donate one time donation or a monthly recurring donation. This will give us the opportunity to make better videos, uh, mostly to hire more content writers and video creators. 
and to get also to get host for the um, get guests for the podcasting. That's it. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more screencasts on high on coding.